Hi, today I have very interesting video for you and this is also going to be an uh, easy one but this is going to be about unusual ratio that we can get uh, as a result of the cross and here is the problem itself a genetist working at zoo has spent several years studying coat color in foxes she found that when two platinum colored foxes are crossed litters with both platinum and silver colored offspring are always produced. Over the years she collected the following data. When we cross platinum with platinum, 220 20 platinum foxes and 110 silver foxes uh, can be produced. So uh, what is the most likely explanation for platinum and silver coat color in foxes? And uh, explanation can be using uh, simple Mendelian genetics. Uh, of course, the different models can exist uh, that include uh, multi-gene inheritance, but today we are going to talk only about simple Mendelian genetics, and that means that uh, we have one gene, one trait that is uh, controlled by two alleles. One would be dominant and another one would be recessive. Dominant would be, be as a capital letter and recessive as a small letter. So uh, actually we can get um, uh, two lists. Uh, so one list would be uh, when we cross two genotypes and uh, result of such cross uh, would be uh, one phenotype. Uh, for example, uh, one Genotype can be capital A, capital A, so homozygous dominant, and when we cross with homozygous dominant, of course, all the progeny would be of the same type, so one phenotype would be, all of them would be homozygous dominant. Another example would be when we cross uh, homozygous recessive with homozygous recessive. Of course, such a cross would also result in one phenotype and progeny. Uh, another example would be when we cross uh, homozygous dominant with uh, homozygous recessive. Those um, uh, genotype of the progeny would be different from the both of the parents. It's going to be heterozygous, so one dominant allele would be inherited from uh, this parent and one recessive allele would be inherited from the second parent so the progeny would be heterozygous but still 100 percent of the progeny would be uh, one phenotype and uh, the last example here would be when we cross um, homozygous dominant with hom uh, heterozygous so uh, here also 100% of such cross uh, would belong to one phenotype. Those uh, would result in different genotypes. And the second list would include um, such uh, crosses that would result in different ratios of the uh, phenotypes. For example, when we cross uh, heterozygous genotype with homozygous recessive. Let me build a Punnett square. So uh, heterozygous go on top and homozygous recessive here on the side. And when we build a Punnett square, we would see that uh, here we would have uh, heterozygous. Here also would be heterozygous and here would be homozygous recessive and homozygous recessive here. So this is going to be one uh, phenotype. So this is going to be one to one ratio. So, uh, or this is uh, also can be 50 to 50%. 50 Just another way how we can express this results. And uh, another example would be when we cross uh, heterozygous uh, genotype with uh, heterozygous genotype. 
So let me build the panel square once again and as a result of such cross as you see we can get homozygous dominant heterozygous and homozygous recessive and this is going to be as you see uh, this would belong uh, to one group and would make uh, um, phenotypes that would be dominant so this is going to be 3 to 1 ratio so this is going to be another uh, uh, phenotype but uh, in our example as you see we have 2 to 1 ratio and this is unusual because uh, none of the crosses would explain such ratio so here in the first uh, row all the results would be uniform progeny 100% and these two possible uh, crosses would result in 1 to 1 ratio and 3 to 1 ratio and uh, once again here we have 2 to 1 ratio so what is the uh, um, explanation can be also we are told that uh, we have to cross two uh, platinum uh, uh, foxes in order to get platinum and silver foxes so uh, that means that uh, uh, phenotype of the parents should be the same so we can exclude this example because uh, obviously this genotype and this genotype would means different phenotypes and only this example uh, result when we have two uh, uh, the same phenotypes that would produce two different uh, phenotypes and uh, genotypes also so actually explanation would be that uh, one of the alleles and this is uh, dominant allele and here is a recessive allele and alleles is just two different versions of the same gene uh, and uh, this dominant allele would be uh, defective or we can call it a lesser allele uh, and uh, as long as we have one normal allele uh, such uh, genotype uh, would uh, make a normal living organism but in cases when we have two dominant alleles that is both defective so uh, such uh, alleles wouldn't be able to produce normal protein or enzyme so uh, such uh, genotype would result in stillbirth or uh, self-abortion or also this uh, such an organism may die soon after the birth so actually uh, what we can get is uh, these two uh, living uh, progeny that belongs to two uh, uh, different phenotypes and uh, as you see uh, ratio would be two heterozygous to one homozygous recessive so uh, this is going to be two to one ratio and uh, this uh, uh, genotype that is heterozygous would be platinum and that is uh, homozygous recessive would be silver colored and uh, this model would explain how we can get two to one ratio and uh, this is all for today thank you for attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video goodbye